Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. So you guys, I'm back to Dubai. I have told you everything uh, how it went down and why there are only few videos from Romania. But I have posted yesterday a video, so if you guys want to know everything, uh, please go and watch uh, yesterday's video because I give you more information there. So today you guys, I want to share with you some tips from International Airport in Bucharest. So you guys basically know that I live in Dubai for the past eight years and when I travel home I do go from Dubai to Bucharest and then in Bucharest I have a layover let's call it like that I do spend there for around um, four hours till I take my flight and I'm going to Cluj-Napoca my city and from there my sister usually she's waiting for me and we are driving around 40 minutes till I reach my dad's home and I spend time basically with them so it's a long day journey when I come back to Dubai it's the same thing I'm uh, waking up very early in the morning I'm going to the airport my sister she's driving me bless her and then I'm taking a flight and I'm waiting almost six hours in Bucharest as well till I take my flight to Dubai I don't mind I'm not complaining I'm just uh, happy and grateful that I can go and see my family and I'm doing it as often as I can so spending all this time in uh, Bucharest airport I do learn some tricks unfortunately this video I cannot I don't know I don't have any tips to tell you about uh, how to get cheaper flight I don't know that if you have that information please let me know I want to know as well <laughs> but unfortunately I don't I, I don't know I don't know how and I want to give you some tips basically when it comes uh, for your journey to be more easier and uh, maybe help you spend some money when it comes to food drinks and that type of stuff so that's what I'm going to do in today's video Bucharest Henry Quanda International Airport Aeroportul Internațional Henry Quanda București it's so weird sometimes to talk to you guys in Romanian <laughs> It's Romania's busiest international airport and it's located around 15 I think 15 kilometers away from Bucharest city center the airport is named after the Romanian flight pioneer Henry Quanda and he was the builder of Quanda 19 aircraft and the discoverer of Quanda 1910 effect of fluidics hope I pronounce it well the name before it was Bucharest Otopen International Airport but they changed it to Bucharest Henry Quander International Airport Otopen is just the area where is located the airport so Henry Quander is the name of the airport Otopen is the area but that area is part of Bucharest as well so everything makes sense and even many times on the boarding pass you will find actually the code OTP not like Bucharest as you will expect it and many times happen when you go to to this big city everything makes sense you guys everything makes sense so Henry Quanda International Airport actually serves as headquarters for Tarom the country's national airline so I'm using Tarom a lot of time because uh, from Cluj to Bucharest they do have good connections it's not a big airport it's quite easy to manage and it's very straightforward to say it like that so let's start with the arrivals one international and domestic one for the domestic ones when you arrive you will go to like the zero floor like under one like under <laughs> and the international one is on the first floor after you take your luggage and you're out there is on your right side there is an elevator that you can use and either go up or down and of course if you have luggage it's a big elevator so you can use it if you have luggage or if it's easier for you or if you're tired you can use that and on your left side there's actually staircase like not the staircase the regular one this staircase or the automatic one so you can use that as well when you reach down to the zero floor to call it like that on your left side you will have a colorful market in this colorful market boy oh boy they have amazing deals and there are regular prices if you go to like a regular coffee shop or if you want to have a sandwich or something to eat usually in the airports the prices are going crazy I never understood why but I know they have their reason but in this colorful market you'll find regular prices thank God and they do have inside when you enter on your left as well they do have a machine a Nescafe machine when you can buy coffee with regular prices a coffee there and a cappuccino usually I am having the cappuccino there it's only three lays that's amazing so you can have a coffee very easy and a good good price I'm just telling you about the coffee just because if you go like a coffee shop inside the airport it will be like 27 lays uh, I don't know about you guys but I think it's uh, overpriced <laughs> 
<laughs> when it comes to just a simple coffee to pay that much and basically it's the same thing they are doing in the machine as well but i'm sure they have the reasons i'm just uh, giving you this uh, type of information if you want to save or you're, you're you know on a budget you know when you travel a lot <laughs> inside of the, this carrefour market you'll find fresh food i have eaten so many times for this carrefour market and the food is all the time fresh just because there are a lot of people buying and they are making like fresh one all the time there is fresh food there there is fruits there is this amazing sandwiches with ham and schnitzel this is the romanian schnitzel and i told you guys the romanian schnitzel we are usually making it with chicken and not with pork so they have these amazing sandwiches there they have even a bar salad that they can make fresh salad for you they have fruits like i said they have fresh pastry there for me personally i'm all the time going with the sandwich with the ham it's so good and so nice so simple and the bread is so good as well and i'm just going with that just because usually i'm even going to romania after some time and i miss uh, the ham i do love uh, myself some uh, good nice pork ham or when i'm coming back i'm just going for the same sandwich just because okay i'm coming i don't know when i'm going nice so I, i'm just enjoying that sandwich in this carrefour market you will find like drinks of course alcohol if you want you will find drinks with normal prices like a coca-cola usually outside of the airport you will find it with between three and four lays and that's the price that you will buy there as well if your luggage got broken or something they do have luggage that they sell there they have chargers if you left one uh, in the aircraft or you lost it or you you forgot to take it with you you'll find their sweets that you can buy for you know to give to the family or as a present and so on you'll find yogurt you'll find everything that you want you will find their girl they have everything and good good prices as well also in this uh, terminal just call it like that when you go out from the domestic uh, arrivals on your right side you will find a booth where you can buy actually bus tickets there is there a big one that you can actually ask for information there's somebody there all the time you can ask for information most of the people in Romania do speak English so it will be okay to ask for information and not to ask to receive the information basically and you can buy tickets there is actually a bus that connects to the city so there is that option as well there's actually another booth like electronic one that you can buy tickets and uh, ask for information as well if it's that easier for you there is a bus i saw this uh, bus many times i don't know how many buses to be honest they do have from there but i do saw buses coming and going from that particular side and if you're a smoker or if you just want to enjoy a little bit of a side you can actually go there it's not busy and you can have like a peaceful time because of course up where is the international arrival it's a little bit more busy there's a lot more people when you go outside you will find actually taxis there but of course up on the international arrivals there is more people it's a little bit more crowded so if you want to eat your sandwich in peace or have a coffee or smoke a cigarette i would recommend you to go down it's way less crowded <laughs> Also on that uh, particular uh, place you will find information how to take the train as well. I never took the train or the metro from the airport so I don't know how to give you that type of information and to be honest I don't want to give you information that I don't really know so I'm just telling you there is that option but you need to look further in that particular area because I don't want to mislead you and give you misinformation basically. Up on the first floor when you come for international arrivals when you get out of the terminal you will find a lot of taxis there you actually there is a machine and i didn't take any videos of that fortunately but there is actually a machine when you can ask for a taxi and they will give you a number and then the taxi will come and pick you up the taxis they are outside usually you need to like kind of negotiate the prices with them or so on but this type of taxi just because they give you the number they will come and just give you like the fair fare to call it like that a little bit higher because usually for the airports it's like that they, they they put a little bit more on the price but they are taking you in the right location and they will not overcharge you just because they are tracked so you have their numbers in that mall ticket that they give you the machine you will find like the plate numbers so you have all the information if something happens so you can uh, take actions basically also there you will find like the connection and uh, there is a lot of signs that they will direct you to go to the train or to the metro wherever you 
want to call how do you want to travel so there is a lot of information in that area as well okay you guys so we finish with the arrivals terminal let's go to the departure one to go to the departure terminal there is actually a very nice corridor you can sit there you can relax for a few minutes there is a lot of chairs there's a lot of benches also there is a lot of information about dracula i saw now there's a lot of nice pictures there that you can sit you can relax usually people are coming and going and it's actually not that busy and you can relax also on that corridor you will find all the small boots if you want to rent a car or if you want to change currency i would really recommend to you guys not to change in the airport usually they don't give you a nice currency exchange rate so i will not recommend you to change there of course you can uh, negotiate with them as many times it happened and they can give you a way better deals but don't change all the monies because in the city actually you will find places that can give you a better rate to your money so there is there if you really need any there is that option but all around the airport you can actually pay with your credit card with your debit card you can actually use your car so you don't need to change the currency if you want to buy a coffee or so on on that corridor as well there is a bank that is um berede i think it's only an atm i don't think there is somebody inside also there is a pharmacy there if you need anything and also there is a small supermarket that is called replay they do have magazines there they have books they also have snacks and drinks they uh, you can uh, buy a prepay card for your phone there is that option as well and actually during the pandemic when i have been uh, to romania it was the only one all the other restaurants they were closed in the airport and there is like one of the options that you can buy a drink you can buy a coffee they do have this machine for the coffee as well there as you came from the arrivals terminal on your left side right before the replay uh, mini supermarket there is actually a corridor and if you follow that you will go to the end and on your left there is a ramp if you have luggage and if you don't want to go on the stairs because after replay there is some like very steps stairs to be honest to go up to the departures terminal don't know if they are calling terminal or not because uh, uh, there's all part of the same building it's only this corridor between them like the hallway that they are making the connection and they separate them basically so if you go there you'll find a ramp and you can uh, actually use that ramp just because if you have uh, luggages it will be way easier for you at the end of that ramp when you reach like the departure building right on your left there is another elevator that can take you down it's very very good if you have of course like luggage it will be way easier just to take the elevator basically there are a lot of steps but all the time i use the elevator just because i do have luggage over the time that i go so it's way easier after the elevator there is again a area where you can sit and wait read a book watch a movie have something to eat as well there is no place there to buy actually something it's just like a lot of chairs where you can see there is toilet there as well so you can just enjoy if you have extra time and you want to be seated down as soon as you arrive to the departure terminal there is a big area there and actually there is a lot a lot of this machine when you can buy snacks drinks and also coffee for this machine you can use cash or you can use your card as well many times i just use my card in this area the coffee on this machine it's a little bit more expensive there is like in the Carrefour market it's around seven lays one bottle of coca-cola and a coffee around six seven lays as well the coffee is very nice very good just uh, if you want uh, more sweet like i do before you select the drink that you want the coffee just put more sugar there because many times i add the sugar after and i just drink the coffee without any sugar because you have to add it before so add the sugar they don't give you a lot of sugar in this uh, coffee machines but just add the more if you want more sweet like i do i just I, I learned this the hard way so we are now into the departures area on the departures area it's very simple you basically do the same thing there is a lot of counters there there was more restaurants open there in like the departure area in the departure terminal before you do your check-in or before you pass through security or immigration they close a lot of them there is 
only few now but I would recommend to you guys just because I did this uh, at the beginning when I started traveling I was going to these restaurants and I was just sitting down and I will pay a lot of money for a small sandwich and a coffee that I could buy it very fast and very easy from the machine and it will be way cheaper and I will save money basically usually when I'm in the like the departures area either if I go to Cluj or if I come to Dubai when you go outside the last door on the departure building to call it like that when you get out there is like there is smoking area you can stay very easily outside just enjoying take some air remove your mask because you don't need to wear mask outside only inside the places when you are there and you want to just uh, have a quiet moment you like usually I read the book or I talk to my family and I don't want to be in that area anymore on your right side when you get out from the departures building the last door there is like a Winston um, small place there in the middle so it's the last door when you get outside you go on your right side there is a hallway and you follow that hallway till the end and on your left side there is bench there and you can smoke you can have a drink you can have a coffee you can have a sandwich you can just stay there relax and read or watch a movie why not it's a place that I discovered maybe like three years ago because I was keep seeing people going and coming and that is like what the hell is there I want to see so I went and I discovered these benches in the nice quiet place just to sit and relax before the flight is like wow this is amazing so most of the times when I'm waiting to either take my flight to Cluj or to Dubai I just go there and relax most of the times there's nobody there of course there are time of the day where like employees from the airport they are coming many times I saw employees because they know about this place many travelers I, I don't think they do only if you're like a very regular traveler and you had time to just go around the airport and you discover these areas after you pass the security and the immigration you guys again it's a very very short walk till you reach to like the duty-free area also in the duty-free area till you reach to your gate there is this machine again they're a little bit more expensive like a coca-cola it's 10 lays or like a coffee it's around 8 to 10 lays as well but there are snacks there as well you can buy like chips you can buy something sweet between 3 and 4 lays 5 depends on what do you want so there is a lot of machines they are giving you coffee refreshments water snacks that you can actually buy as well there is a lot of uh, restaurants and um, uh, the price is it's there <laughs> to say it like that so if you're on a budget like I said or you don't want to spend so much money there is this option as well that you can actually pay less also if you want to eat something like the traditional one still and you still want to have a less bite of the Romanian food and so on you will walk and then there are these uh, stairs and there are more gates there as well and also these machines and there was actually before a place there it was called La Sarmale and I was eating there a lot the food is still a little bit pricey but I was eating there a lot fortunately La Sarmale it got closed now but in front of La Sarmale there is actually a place that is called Hanul Berari Lor and they also have a lot of like traditional food as well there is a Burger King there there is a place with a lot of like Italian food uh, pasta and uh, pizza and whatever you want so there is this option as well okay you guys i really hope that you enjoyed these few tips about the international airport in bucharest i really do hope that it will help you when you're traveling again like i said you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below <laughs> and i shall see you in my next one bye everyone